Hi there, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies. It's Tana here in front of the house I live in. And today's video is about, uh, you don't need to have the answers. You don't need to have the answers. There, well, there, there's a book um, written years ago called Open Space Technology by Owen Harrison. And Owen Harrison hosted a conference. And in the feedback forms after the conference, he said, what was the best part of the conference? And the overwhelming response was the coffee breaks. You can imagine that he was pissed at this. Spent $100,000, $200,000 or something on this conference. And it was the coffee breaks. So he um, said, fuck it. Next year, I'm making the conference one big coffee break. So there was a theme or a question to be explored at the conference. But there was no criteria. There were no guest speakers. He just, when people got there, he said, great. What do you want to talk about? And uh, where do you want to go talk about that? And he just facilitated people having the conversations they wanted to have. So you don't need to have the answers. Sometimes all that's needed is somebody who's willing to host the conversation. Somebody who's willing to bring people together. Uh, a dear, dear friend of mine wants to create um, support for men, fathers in particular, who want to do some sort of rite of passage or initiate their son. But you can imagine in modern society, culturally bereft as we are, uh, where the poverty's abound, how do you do it? Uh, and there is no how. There is no seven steps to doing this. There's no unity of experience even anymore. It's so, everybody's just brailing. The, the um, you know, the, the skin of the world on this one. And so he's, there's a bit, yeah, how do I monetize this? Like, what do I promise as a, as a result? How do you, how do you get, how do you make this pitch compelling? And there is no, I think, compelling pitch of like, hey, we've solved the modern initiation thing. Not that won't heartbreak people and disappoint people and leave people feeling worse off than they were because it didn't pan out as you promised it would. But what you could promise, you could say, look, I'm going to host a community where we can come together and talk about this and support each other and wonder about it together, share our successes and failures and resources, etc. You could do that. So you don't need to have the answers. You just have to have a theme, a question that you and a group of other people share. Because to get practical about it, let's say you start a membership. Uh, of people who want to talk about this conversation well you know at the very first level once a week you have a zoom call and you talk about it and you get together and that's pretty good but what you could do then is you could uh time stamp those calls and you could break off little video chunks so that you've got videos on particular topics so you know with this kind of you know fathering thing uh rite of passage maybe there'd be a topic on how do you send the kids out what do you do when you're out there with the kid? How do you bring them back properly? Could be, how do you prepare? How do you gather the community around this? How do you help them integrate it in the months and years to come? How do you talk to your in-laws? What if you're divorced and your other partner doesn't want your kid to do this? How do you deal with that? How do you deal with the grandparents? See what I'm saying? So you can start to take clips and make all these topics. And then you realize, wait a minute, Ah, there's an excerpt from a book that speaks to this. In fact, I should make a book list. I'll do that. Why don't we have a book club? And we could just discuss these things. What about having a, um, oh, we could have a movie night. We could watch some documentaries together. And well, what about once the, you know, parents go through it and the kid comes back, there could be a debrief we could host for a couple hours. And so we could collect stories. And then what if you, as the host of this network, you start to say, um, you start, you're the curator, but also the collator. So you said, well, you know, I've, I've sat in on a hundred of these calls now, listening to parents, you know, brought their kids back. And here's the patterns I'm seeing. And you write a book of just, here's what we've learned together. You know, a mix of our, our, uh, the, our indigenous ancestry, other practices we know from around the world, but also just the people in the modern society trying to figure this out and, Here's some things that we found are helpful to translate this into the modern world because for those of us in modern society, there is no, we can't do those things. Those things are off the table. 
because there's no village to do them in. There's no, you know, you get the idea, I hope. So you could be the one collating and organizing this. Garrison Keillor, a uh, radio personality in Canada, he had a line, or in the States rather, he had a line, he said, um, you get to a certain age and you realize there are no answers. There are only stories. So you could be the one that collects these stories, that organizes them. Could you imagine this? You're a father, you see that your son is seven, he's getting to that age and you've been reading about rites of passage and thinking about it, you think my, my boy deserves that. But you don't know where to start. None of your friends are interested in this. You're this weirdo uh, in your friend group. And then you hear about an online community and you join it and suddenly you're with all these other fathers from all around the world and you just don't feel so alone anymore. That's not bad. And then you get to hear stories and you get ideas and inspired from each other and there's calls where you can troubleshoot. You get to yeah, debrief it after. You get directed to books and resources and documentaries you never even heard of or imagined before. Can you imagine how good that would feel? And the person running it doesn't have to have any answers, any solutions, any quick fixes. All they have to create is a space to explore questions. They just have the theater for the theme. That's it. And instead of a show on stage, they have the audience talk to each other. It's a pretty good setup. You don't need to solve the problem. You don't need to give the solution. Sometimes you just need to give a safe space for a conversation to happen. That's been wanting to happen for a while. So hopefully that's helpful. Can think you through how that can translate into your business. Yeah, you can get paid. People will pay you for this is the point. I'll leave it there. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to everyone who subscribes here, everyone who shares these videos. Uh, you know, if you ever watch a video and you think, boy, somebody could use that, or I know a Facebook group of people who would love it, please do share it up. And uh, if you go to marketingforhippies.com, there's just a ton of free stuff there you can check out. Follow me on Instagram, at marketingforhippies. See you around.